Okay, finally, finally, finally have, I don't know, a, maybe about a 10 minute haul video here. Um, as I've said in previous videos, it's been challenging to, uh, to find large quantities uh, or, or to be able to get enough books to do a haul video uh, once a week like I used to. Um, I'm still I'm still searching. It's just it's been uh, a little more challenging to find books at the right price and stuff that I want and uh, you know the factors that you go into uh, finding books. But uh, finally have enough here. I'm still hunting and I can tell you what I've what I've purchased since my last video. Um, we're gonna start off right now. This was a gift. Um, from uh, JLS Comics. If you don't uh, follow them on YouTube, you should. Um, but uh, we were talking about some uh, Dave Stevens, uh, how, you know, we like his covers. I just, in passing, mentioned that I like this one, and he got it for me. So I didn't have it. Super happy to own it to my collection, JLS Comics. If you're watching this, thank you again. Um, just a Dave Stevens cover. One I didn't have, super happy to to get it. Um, I finally had some luck at a local store, uh, actually yesterday. <laughs> so half of what I'm showing is what I got yesterday. Um, so they had a dollar, they have some dollar books and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you, you know, the typical dollar books that I, they normally have. You know, nothing fancy, but stuff that has potential. You know, we got the Black Adam, non-lenticular cover. Uh, it's uh, technically Justice League of America number 7.4, but you got a Black Adam on the cover. Um, you know, maybe it could, could turn into something. I don't know. It was a dollar. Now I'm just missing number one and two to complete my Punisher Armory run. You know, trying to get them all the dollar bins. Found that one for a dollar. Um, last issue of Robin. Okay, last issues are always a thing. Robin 183, I uh, had to get it. And uh, I believe this is the first appearance of the ultimate Agatha Harkness. Um, uh, ultimate uh, Fantastic Four number 54. So those were the ones that were like, oh, okay, not too bad. They're fine in the dollar bin. Here are the two super good ones in the dollar bin. So I found some treasures in the dollar bin. I've been doing some research on Sonic the Hedgehog comics, uh, just because there's some out there that are, are somewhat valuable. Uh, this one is a $20 to $30 one, probably. Sonic the Hedgehog number 39. It's the first uh, appearance of the Mecha Sonic. Okay, whatever, it was a dollar. I didn't have it. Actually, it's my, you know, outside of like number one and zero, um, I don't have any Sonic comics, so I was kind of being on the lookout. And this one, this one made me super happy as well. The dollar bin, Bad Planet number six. It's funny, I was just, they're not in any order in the store here and I'm just going through and I come across Bad Planet. They have number one, number two, number three. Please have number six, you keep going and they have it and you let out like a yes. <laughs> so, um, so I got that. So that's like, that was like $6. And it was like, Okay, if I spend, this is one of those stores that if you spend $10 or more, you automatically get just one stamp on your, um, on your card. So whether you spend $10 or $100, you only get one stamp. And I've had this one forever, and I don't go to the store that often just because their comics aren't huge. But, you know, it's, it's fun to, you know, go. And over time, I, 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 had, I need one stamp left. So we had the five $1 uh, comics and I'm like, well, I need five more and then I can show you what I got with my, with my stamp card. So I realized not too, too long ago that I, you know, obviously I had Batman Spawn I bought years ago and there was a number two and I just never got it. Uh, I was like, well, I, I need to get number two and it was $5. I had my $5, uh, $1 books. That was five. I did I did pretty well with, with those two. So I was like, okay, fine. Let's get this stamp card done. So once you finish up your stamp card, you get $25 credit in the store. So I was like, okay, cool. And I kind of knew which ones I wanted. Uh, so these didn't cost me anything. We have Warlock and the Infinity Watch number 42. 
that's the last issue in the run. Last issue in the run, you know, it's definitely something. It didn't cost me anything. It had a $9 sticker on it. But uh, so right then I have $16 left on my card. And I've been eyeing this one. I've, I've thought about, I've seen it. I've been able to find it, you know, for a couple dollars, which I was hoping for. But whatever, I'll use something I want for my card, uh, you know, that didn't cost me anything. It had a $15 sticker on it. Guardians of the Galaxy number 62. This is also the last issue in this run. So I was like, ah, cool. These two, are, you know, there's something about last issues, whatever. Cool, it's $24. Ooh, I need to go back to the dollar bin. Let me go ahead in the dollar bin and see what I can find. Somehow I found, I must have missed this one, but it's very cool. Anytime you see the Direct Forces co um, comics, I always keep an eye on. Um, they're somewhat hard to find. Had the certificate with the sticker and everything. Uh, Which Blade Tomb Raider half? Direct Forces edition. So these are the three comics I got with my, um, I guess my stamp card. So very very happy, very very productive at that store. And now, <laughs> so pretty much the last two weeks outside of that one store, and my you know my gift. This is all the comments I got. <laughs> uh, but what can you do? What can you do? Um, I've been looking for this one. It's a great J. Scott Campbell cover. You got the uh, the Black Cat God over there on the cover. You got Sherry Black Panther on the cover. There's just, I think, a lot going for it. Um, it was $5. I couldn't say no. I had to get it. Um, this one at the store was $4. It's recently gotten hot. It's a reprint of the first appearance of Wonder Man. Wonder Man's become a thing. Um, it was $4. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Um, so I got it, found it, so that was pretty cool. Um, I've kind of wanted this one for a while. I just, every time I saw it, they would either wanted too much money or it was in such crap condition, there's no way I wanted it. So um, I found a, a good looking one copy. Uh, it's the first appearance of American Eagle. Um, no one cares, whatever. It was $6, um, but I was happy to uh, just get this one, add it to the collection. Um, here, yep, I found one. It was like $4, uh, Thor 319. Uh, Zaniac, we all know why this one's kind of a thing, because I guess Zaniac was in the background of a Loki poster for season two. Um, so, okay, cool. Um... So I had to get first appearance of Blue Hulk. It's not a thing. No one cares. But if it becomes a thing, it will. I'll be ready for it. Um, it was like $4. Uh, just, you know, first appearance of Blue Hulk. Uh, this was like $3. First appearance. I think his name's Lifeline. That guy. GHS Special Missions. Okay, whatever. I'll get it. Uh, this one, I want to say, was like $7. Batman Returns and my continuous uh, crusade to get uh, uh, comics based on movies. Uh, now I have, can add a Batman Returns to my collection of official comic adaptations. Uh, yep, yeah, we're almost done. So as you know, it's, it wasn't a very, very long haul. I could give you that warning, but at least I could share and I could put new stuff up. Uh, the Joker number two, this is a second prince, first appearance of Bane's daughter. She's on the cover. Actually, I like this one better than the first print. It's the second print. Uh, just because she's on the cover, I got it because of uh, Vengeance is on the cover. Uh, it's her first appearance. Okay, let's do it. Um, this one recently got in hot. I just just do spec people are going after What If Siege. Okay, cool, whatever. It was $4. Um, this one here was also $4. I see this one. I've shown this one in the past. Uh, but it's it's the first in, interior artwork, or first one, it's the first artwork, published artwork of Art Germ. Um, it's in the interior, uh, but you know you see it for four dollars, you you can just get it. And the last two are online purchases, which one was a home run, super success. The other one, sometimes you just take a gamble and you hope for the best. So this was twenty dollars, and I'm thinking that's a really good price for this book. It's like the the variant test logo, Firestorm number sixty one. I've always wanted it. It looked 
okay in the pictures. Didn't look great, but didn't look bad. The price was half compared to what like mint people saying that they're mint are for. And I'm thinking, okay, do I do it? Do I not do it? And you just take a chance to be like, well, let's just do it. It's hard to tell in the pictures for sure, but I'll just, I'll just get it. So, I mean, it, it presents really, really well, but you look up close to it. It's, it's not quite what I was hoping for. So I definitely need to upgrade uh, when it comes to this book. But, and if it was $10, I'd feel like I did well uh, based on the condition. But, you know, like you say, you win some, you lose some. I'm happy I have it. Um, I, probably if I saw it in the wild and I was able to hold it and look at it, even at that price, I would have left it. But, um, you know, you take a chance sometimes. Like you say, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I guess that's kind of like a half a loss just because it's not really, really great. But this is the one that I won. It's, I've been eyeing this one, this book. Uh, I like when I find books that I think I might be able to find in like the back issues for like, three or four dollars and this one definitely makes uh could is a potential find if you know about it this is batman 445 but it's a second print you can tell it's a second print because of the pink um cape because the first print it's you know blue um so I'm, i've always felt i could find this one in the wild i never have never never have I, you know i go to batman oh let me see if that second print's there nope okay so it's just kind of been something I've always looked. And you see them online, they're like $20, $25 shipped to you, that sort of thing. And you know, you, you kind of look at pictures and you could kind of see some some dings here, but it's not too bad. But you know, it's just like, uh, I, you know, maybe if it was like this one, I'd pay $20 for it just to have it at this point. But uh, there was an auction. Um, I put my, my bid in and I don't, I don't remember exactly what it was, but I, it was shipped to me. It was like under $10 for this book. So this was definitely a win. Definitely something I've always wanted to find. Never found it in the wild, but I was able to, uh, get it at a good price. So, um, you know, so that's what I find. I'm super happy to find this one. Anyways, I, uh, this is what I've been up to since my last haul. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I really, uh, you know, I'm still out there searching, but you gotta, it's that mixture of how bad do you want the book and how much do you want to pay for it? So it's, it's a little more challenging these days, but, uh, I'm still having fun, still finding a few stuff and, um, be on the lookout when I get enough together again, I'll, I'll share another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.